Hi everyone. Welcome to the episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In this week's episode, we will be talking about Google Kubernetes Engine Autopilot offering. So let's get started. So let's first understand what problem GKE Autopilot is trying to solve. So a typical managed Kubernetes service like GKE has two components, the control plane and the worker node machines. The control plane manages the cluster infrastructure and the worker nodes. The worker nodes are the virtual machines which host the pods that runs the containerized application. Now prior to GKE Autopilot, only the control plane was managed by Google Cloud as a managed service. So any management of the control plane, for instance, version upgrade, security, was handled by Google Cloud and was transparent to the end user. However, the user still need to make certain decisions on the cluster configuration. For instance, how many nodes needs to be provisioned, what is the node configuration, how much RAM is required, what is the minimum scalable requirements, how to secure the infrastructure, what is the network configuration, like should you go with a private cluster, and other choices that needs to be made to set up the cluster. Often these requirements are not known during your first deployment and you may try to over provision the resources and you end up constantly monitoring and managing your nodes. With GK Autopilot, all these management requirements are offloaded as a managed offering and you just need to deploy the pods and leave the selection of worker nodes configuration, scalability, security requirements to GKE Autopilot. In my view, as the name suggests, GKE is now autopilot mode where all the heavy lifting on infrastructure and scalability requirements is handled by Google Cloud transparently and you just need to work on developing your applications. So with GKE Autopilot, you therefore pay only for resources like compute, memory storage, that your pod actually uses rather than paying for the entire node or virtual machines as in the case of the standard GKE offering. GKE in my view is great for first time production deployment where you don't need complete control of managing the environment. Now if you choose to use GKE Autopilot, do check out if it fits your requirement and any constraints associated with it. For instance, Currently, GK is not supported on GPU containers and it doesn't run on Anthos clusters. So for a list of constraints, do check out the link provided in the video description. So this concludes a short introduction to GKE Autopilot. In a future video, we would carry out a lab session and deploy a production application using GKE Autopilot. Till then, have a great week and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Thank you for watching.